Meru citizens woke up very early. Na wakapanga laini, wakasema tutachagua huyu mama independently. They didn't consider party. Na wakasema huyu ndi wanaona atafanya kazi yao mzuri. But now after that, walichagua huyu mama, wakachagua na hao MCA. After that, the MCAs wamegang up kusema huyu mama afai. Kwani wao ndi walimchagua? Ni wao walichagua huyu mama ama ni wananchi wa meru? Wananchi wa meru. And it's really sad that uh, women are not standing up for one of their own. I'm sad for that, to say so. Because there are women governors who are, who are also there. They are not standing up for their fellow woman. I wonder how you expect other men to stand up when you cannot support your own. But, but contrary to that, women are saying my MCAs, your agendas, you have to prioritize things you want to do. You are elected. Look at the priorities for the, of the Meru people. Priorities ya watu wa Meru wali wachagua muwafanyie kazi. Hawaku wachagua muende ku impeach mwanamke. It's really sad. Na if at all you insist so, mimi kama mwanabunge wa Jakaranda, we are told power belongs to the people. Na kama power belongs to the people, why would MCS continue uh, kuangaisha hui mama? It's only simple. Mimi nita urge Meru citizens. Because MCS wanataka ku impeach huyo mama mulichagua, mulipanga laini mukachagua. Now, it is up to you as Meru people. You can dissolve the entire parliament so that all the MCS goes home. Simple. Just sign up, get, collect signatures, one million signatures. You'll send all, all of them home. Waende nyumbani, tena warudi kwa debe, so that they can style up. Because nyinyi mlichagua huyu mama, wao mbona na mka wachagua? Mbona, mbona wasijifikirie, wafikirie wananchi, wanajifikirie wao wenyewe? I would really, really urge Meru people collecting ni signatures. Mutume hawa MCS wote nyumbani. Meru yote irudi uchaguzi. Then you march forward from there, because the revolution is here. Na kama mutaendelea na imu vutano ya kuimpeach mama, hakuna kazi itafanyika. And who is losing out? Ni wanainchi. Wanainchi ndi wana lose. See how MCS? Wanainchi nye ndi wana lose. And you imagine losing out five years of devolution. It's really sad. So, wanainchi wa meru, nitawa urge. Collect signatures, send all of them home. So that meru yote irudi uchaguzi. Now on this one here, ndindi nyoro. It's really sad, huh? Dindi Nyoro. It's, uh, it's a toddler in politics. Now, I can understand from where he's coming from. Just carry on, my friend. It is really sad when Dindi Nyoro stands up to start saying, can Raila produce evidence kuwa alikuwa in uh, U.S.? Now, from my personal point of view, I would say Mr. Ndindi Nyoro is trying to diverge Kenyans from the main issue. We know very well that he's the majority shareholder in Kenya Power. And recently, the cost of power went up by 5%. He doesn't want the countrymen, his countrymen, Sisi Wanainchi, to ongele hayo. So, lazima lete wimbo ya raila hapa, yotu si ulizane kwa nini ibe imepanda. Kwa nini ibe ya stima imepandishwa? Na sisi wanainchi garama inakuja kwetu. Why? Mbona? Why is he going to Raila? Yet we know very well Raila was in US. So Mr. Ndindi Nyoro, this destruction tactics, we are scrutinizing. And uh, we, we, wa, we are still watching. So continue that path. We will be with you here and there. What was the other one, Mr. Speaker? Riki G. With all due respect, Mr. Deputy President, with all due respect, you are a national figure. Being, being uko kwa the presidency, my friend, Mr. De Mr. Gashagwa, you are a public figure. And whatever you say, lazima upime maneno yako. Kiwewe ni kiongozi. 
na unafaa ukumbuke kwamba neno likitoka halirudi kila wakati kila kile unachosema it is really hurting jana ukiamka kusema sakaja you mobilize the kikuyus to vote for him you, they are the ones who put him there what do you think of the other the other people who voted him recently you said uh, you told told of people that uh, the remaining slots in the government are for kikuyu what image are you trying to portray to the country as a leader in the being a deputy president i i would urge like uh, the presidency as at large to consider maybe hiring some some specialists to train him on what to say and when and where to say them mr speaker it is really sad for a deputy president who should be symbolizing national unity talking of his just he's just in cocooned in his own tribe forgetting about the rest of the country mr gashagua please please with all due respect kindly pima maneno yako yale maneno unatoa fikiria kwanza kabla ya kuyatoa sio kutoa kisha ufikirie baadaye fikiria kwanza ndio utoe maneno thank you mr speaker sante mtumpige makofi amesukuma vizuri